Entheogenesis australis has created this series of short videos describing a number of species of psilocybe and allied species found in Australia. In this video, I'm going to introduce and discuss the temperate species Psilocybe similansiata. Hello, my name is Kane Barlow. I'm an Australian mycologist. I have a particular interest in the genus Psilocybe, particularly Australian species. Psilocybe similansiata is commonly known as the Liberty Cap. It's named after the Frisian Cap. Uh, which was a symbol of liberty and freedom around the time of the French Revolution. Uh, the history about the Frisian cap does go back further in time, uh, and it's a really lovely story to read about. Semilanciata is now the type species for psilocybe. It's what we refer to uh, taxonomically for, for the whole psilocybe genus. It was the first reported psilocybe to result in a trip that was documented and reported. It's also been reported by Gaston Guzman as the most widely distributed psilocybe. Pharmacologically speaking, um, Boog and Bigwood in 1982 reported psilocybin between 0.62% to 1.28% dry weight. Stephen Kuiper in 1985 reported psilocybin at 1.7% and baocystin at 0.36% dry weight. Psilocybe similansiata was named and described in 1838 by Elias Magnus Fries. Uh, it was first called Agaricus semilanciatus. Uh, it was then moved to psilocybe in 1871 by Paul Kuma. Uh, it has also been moved to Paniolus and Geophila, uh, but is now squarely back in Psilocybe. In 2009, it became the, the type species. Uh, all non-bruising Psilocybe were moved to Deconica or other genera. The species was first recorded in New South Wales in 1895 by McAlpin. Uh, it was recorded in Victoria in 1973 by Shepherd and Hall, uh, and Roy Watling collected specimens of the species at Mountfield National Park in Tasmania in 1974. Psilocybe semilanciata grows in open grassland. It's an introduced species and is associated with, with cattle, uh, horses, uh, and other animals that, that occur within pastures. It requires a little bit of cold and heavy dew to start fruiting. It grows on decomposing grass and is found in Tasmania, Victoria and New Zealand and New South Wales. Its season is between March to May and then August to October. It's usually too cold and moist uh, and too much frost for them to be able to survive during that, that intermediate winter period. I'm going to show a couple of photographs of them growing in pasture on grass. You can see them just, just popping up above that grass level. Uh, and here growing in, in open grassland. The stem tends to reflect the height of the grass. And again, growing in open pasture, growing from grass, and quite possibly maybe some of the, the moss shown in the photograph. Uh, in this photograph, you can see some of that blue bruising uh, that typically occurs with, with psilocybe. Taxonomically speaking, uh, the cap is between five to 25 millimeters in diameter, sharply conical to bell-shaped. They have a really prominent papilla. It's that, that tiny little kind of nudge at the top of the cap. Uh, they are pale brown to dark chestnut brown in colour. Again, these are hygrophonous, so they will start out dark chestnut brown, they will dry, becoming light to, to yellow brown in time, uh, as per the photograph shown here on the right. Uh, the gill attachment is narrowly adnexed to almost free. 
the stem, these can vary quite a bit in height. So between 45 to 140 millimetres. They're quite slender, uh, white to a yellowish brown and very fibrous. A really way to, to be able to tell if they are Psilocybe simulansiata is to wrap the stem around your little finger. If the stem snaps, the chances are it's not uh, Simulansiata, um, but if, if they kind of stay firm and, and together, then it's a good chance it is. And as you open it, the, you should be able to see the separable pellicle. This is a common feature with many Psilocybe. Uh, it happened on Psilocybe seberiginosa and other species as well. Uh, in terms of Simulansiata lookalikes, there are a few. Uh, the most common ones are Deconica species, Paniola species, and in particular Protostrophoeria semiglobata. From a distance, they, they can look similar. Uh, so this image here on the right hand side is of Protostrophoeria semiglobata. One of the distinctive differences is that the uh, Semiglobata cap is, is quite rounded. Thank you for joining me today as we've explored a number of Australian psilocybe species.